big waves coming from the fishing boat. straight into the wind and we can't sail out we're in the channel um and this channel you can't you know over there believe it or not it's six inches deep over here it's probably a foot deep so there's just staying in this channel but anyways this is the channel we usually go out of in the marina we have this boat in and we're since we're always doing this like during crazy boating times it's like ridiculous boat traffic um, you know, wakes and the boats all waving all over the place for that half an hour out here. But since this is, uh, well, I don't know, it's like, let's see what time it is, 6.30. So it's, you know, we're going to stay overnight and uh, there's just not a lot of boat traffic, just some fishermen coming in and stragglers and it just looks so pretty. That's how shallow it is right off the channel. Wow. Yeah, well that's a, that boat, we saw that boat last weekend and the weekend before that, and it's like the sail is just all ratty. There's never anything next to it, like no dinghy or anything. So I think it's just storage, but it's kind of a shame, you know, that could be someone's sailboat that they're fixing up to go live their dream on, but instead it's just rotting away, sitting next to the channel. Making our way to our anchorage Let the autopilot taking us because it's just a straight shot up behind those trees probably on the other side of those sailboats right there sun's getting low in the sky it's like around seven o'clock this is our big sailing area we have behind this island you know the gulf of mexico's on the other side and it's good sailing over there but it's almost like god it's so big look at this area back here it's so vast and you don't get the waves from the gulf so it's been a really nice place to sail all right, well, we got a little further than we normally anchor because uh, there were some boats over there, so we got a little different anchorage here. I'm just gonna turn into the breeze here and we're going a knot and a half. I'm gonna shut that motor off. Go up there and put the anchor down. Like it's gonna be a beautiful night. You um, turn the wheel like to the port. I'm just waiting until we start drifting a little bit backwards, so I don't drop the chain all over the anchor. Sometimes it's hard to tell because the uh, weeds and stuff in the water might be drifting also. in there your dinner oh, I was gonna bring it up. we got our beers look at the storm clouds I wonder if you could see that on video you know it's wow we I remembered that our anchor light doesn't work and I need to fix that I got a bosun chair to fix that does this bosun chair make my ass look big and uh, our steaming light works which isn't what your that's the light on the front of the mast you're not supposed to have that out when you're anchored and I have that rechargeable solar one from Not Enough. That's an all-around light. That'll get us, keep us from getting a ticket. Susie's got a lime for her Corona. 
check it out. We got our little Sammies. I have to take note that this is the summer Corona premiere. Oh yeah. Summer. Well, has it officially arrived? Almost. Yeah, definitely. So one of the things is we're we're talking about here is like it's it's uh it's only like 83, 84. And it's hot. It's gonna get down to 77 at like midnight. And we see these people in the Caribbean or wherever else in the middle of the summer. What was that? Just my sunglasses. Oh. It's okay. It must be hot because like this is pretty hot. When you go down there, it's not that comfortable. We'll see. It looks like a lot of birds are coming out already. Yeah. Hey, but I'm excited. At least we made it out here and we're gonna make this happen. Yeah, and the idea is with us in the sailing journey is that Catalina 22, you know, we figured it out. Okay, we like this, but the boat's not big enough. Now we have a bigger boat, we can go further. Are we gonna like this enough to ever take this any further? And it's extra high humidity and it's been kind of cloudy today, but it's not supposed to rain, so that's good. The sunset's almost going over there, but see, it's so cloudy that it yeah. it's uh, not as cool as it usually looks. We'll come back though as it's setting and see what things are like at night. Oh, it sure looks a lot brighter in the GoPro than it really is. It's very dark, but that storm, you can see the rain coming down out there. Yeah, we're going to hang out up here a little bit as the sun goes down. Boy, it's so quiet out here. I had to rig up these lines to hold the hatch like that because um, the hatch is wide open. It doesn't direct any air in there, so I'm... Uh, yeah, and I got a new hatch lift for it, but I haven't installed it yet. Look at the anchor line just dangling loose. Look at this. It's not even tight. We're just sort of... And it's weird because the wind is coming from over there. And normally your boat would point into the wind, but the current through here, very slowly, is going like this, and it's keeping us reversed. So if we had more wind, we would spin around. Uh, and there's our steaming light up there. Um, I bought a bosun chair so I can go up the mast to do the light up there. And now look, tonight we're going to get to watch the lighthouse on Ankloed Island. It just, uh, I don't know how often it flashes, but I just saw it a second ago. Look at all the birds. So when we stayed overnight on this island, uh, tip of one of these islands and at night thousands of these birds come and land right as the sun's almost set like this boy these birds like for an hour as the sun sets just accumulate on the island until there's just thousands of them so you can kind of see them all uh, flying towards the island right now all right well look at this i got this automatic light look at these things so cool they're like magnetic so there's a magnet thing you put up here and it's motion detected, so like, I can't really show you because uh, um, they're both on. But there's one over here too, where when I put my hand, there it is, watch this. You reach into the refrigerator or something, the light comes on. Because I have one up there too. And the lithium battery, you can just leave them on because they never turn on unless it's dark. And works well in the restroom here, the head. Now anyways, it's night now. It's probably like 8 or 9, 10 o'clock. And I'm going to take these bungee cords out because we have some halyard slap that we don't want to sleep with. Susie's getting our linens all together. Yeah. We finally get to use our fancy nautical pillowcases and sheets that we bought for the boat. That's it. Ready for night night. Mm -hmm. Camping in the sailboat. <laughs> <laughs> Susie's making pancakes. Well, the sunset may not have been as fabulous as it usually is because it's cloudy, but at least we get to see the sunrise.
Oh, Nelly. Making a little morning sail. Got to see the sunrise this morning. Well, we have uh, a five knots. Both the sails up. We're just cruising this morning. A little morning sail. We actually rolled the Genoa in a little bit just because we were healing over a lot and everything was working hard and we don't really need to go about more than five knots. We're not going anywhere. Just making it more comfortable. Just cruising along. We're getting in some extra practice. I think we're getting better. This thing's huge. Cruising along out here, minding our own business. I look back, and that thing's coming. This is the most sailing we've done in this boat so far. We have white caps and uh, have the traveler all the way over. And uh, we're healing pretty good. So I moved the traveler leeward to uh, flatten the mainsail a little, and I have the outhaul pulled as good as I can to flatten the sail a little more. I would like to move the Traveler back on the Genoa to get the bottom of the sail flatter, just so we could be a little less heeled over. And it's not because this is too heeled or anything. This is fine. Um, I guess it's more invigorating than I thought it would be this morning. <laughs> but. Um, you know, I, I guess I was thinking of a nice quiet sail, but this is a little more exciting. Where I think we're having a good puff to like 15. 